Amanda and I are taking a trip in the Nissan Leaf on the Pennsylvania Turnpike from Fort Washington 309 exit to Lancaster County. We'll be getting off on 222 Ephrata. Headed to my parents' house. Right now we're approximately 70 miles out and we're a little bit nervous. She probably isn't. I am a little bit because I don't know if my range is going to get me there. So it's a good experiment and I'm doing this so that I might be able to convince somebody else that the electric car is something they might want to try. So we'll see how it goes. So we've made a detour off of the Pennsylvania Turnpike at King of Prussia. I wasn't feeling any more confidence than I was and I was seeing my car's range catch up with the actual distance it to my parents' house. Use the right two so to take the US 30 West I have the great opportunity to find on my plug share app that there is a quick charge at the Exton Nissan which of course is not going to cost me any money, which is fantastic. And I got to come off of the turnpike the and I'm gonna take Route 30 home 30 West exit and downtown. get a full charge halfway to my parents' house, which is fantastic. And it takes all of the guesswork out of this travel. So keep right. if you have an electric car and you need to make a long distance travel, get the plug share app and see where along your way somebody might have a quick charge. This is apparently going to take me about 10 or 15 minutes to fully charge my vehicle. So we'll have an update from the station. So here we are at the Exton, Pennsylvania Nissan dealership. We found the quick charge station. It's awesome. I came over, looked as though I had to pay for this but it turned out all I had to do was call a 1-800 number and get them to create me a free emailed account. My car is currently plugged in. When I came here, I was at 41%. That was about three minutes ago. So I'm gonna have a full charge on this vehicle within approximately 12 or 13 minutes. The gentleman on the 800 number told me that these quick charge are DC current so the DC can essentially damage a battery when it's used to charge. So the vehicle cuts it off at 80% of a charge. And then, you know, should you choose, you can go over to the, to the EV plugs that are on the building and plug in for the remainder of your 100, which I'm not going to do tonight. Her and I are gonna go for a walk in this beautiful location around what seems to be a nice historic little buckling there doesn't look bank owned so thanks hope this update helps somebody the charger ended up being free in case I didn't elaborate on that clear enough earlier I'm not sure why they have those payment options there but the gentleman said you call you give us your email address we have your account and now they're mailing me two free cards that the next time I should show up at a quick charge I wave their card in front of the reader and they know it's me and I am then allowed to charge. So it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm happy, One, satisfied customer, two. thanks. I just pulled out of the dealership and I stopped the charger at 85%. It seemed like it wanted to continue, but the gentleman on the phone said around 80%, they're supposed to stop themselves to not damage your battery. So 
We pulled out 87 mile range. I normally get a good average of about 107 range on this vehicle when I'm fully charged, so I'm happy with this. It's easily going to get me from Exton to Lancaster County, and um, I'll have another update when I get there, which is near Lancaster Airport, and it's probably about 43 miles from here, so see you then. I know that I said I would do an update from my parents' place, but I didn't because we were so excited to be there. I had about 50 miles left in range when I got to Lancaster and pulled into the driveway, which was great. I didn't want to go below 30. I don't like going below 30. I always feel like I'm going to run out before I get somewhere. And then on the trip back, well, I had fully charged at their house the entire weekend. I left with 109 miles of range when I pulled out of their driveway and went to Exton and fueled up. By the time I got to Exton, I still had 75 miles and I did charge. I left there with 97 range. Um, when I got home, I still had 50 and I had to use the air conditioning today. So I used the blower which takes about 12 or 15 miles off my range. So overall, it was a really good trip and, and really, really pleased that they had the quick charge in Exton. It was a positive experience and we'll definitely be doing it again. So um, my recommendation to anybody considering an electric vehicle would be that you realistically can't do highway driving for long distances when you're on the highway and you're trying to maintain a high speed, the way that people highway drive now in gas-fueled vehicles is they step on the gas and you don't realize how much you're staying on the gas and you are spending down your gas tank. But when you're in an electric vehicle and you're trying to keep a charge and you're stepping on the accelerator, it's taking away from your battery. So it assisted me leaving the turnpike, which is now 75 miles an hour, there's no way that I can maintain that. <laughs> I think my kid's going in the grass right now. <laughs> there we go. There's no way that you can maintain a higher speed in an electric car without running down your battery rather quickly. So, I mean, I top it out at 55 or 65, and now that the P8 turnpike is 75 miles an hour, I end up being more of a hazard than I am a friendly driver. So getting off the turnpike and using state routes was an ideal situation and just very, very lucky to have the quick charge in between. So, you know, if you have those factors going on and you're traveling within 100 miles and you have a, a at least a quick charge or charging station in between, you can use state routes, I would highly recommend it might take you a little bit longer but overall it was a very pleasant trip and uh, I didn't spend anything except the time I spent from 309 to King of Prussia on the turnpike which I think was three dollars or something so otherwise my trip was essentially free. Take care!